Jay-Z, hip-hop artist, uh, he has a history of giving back to the Marcy Homes. That was the uh, housing development in New York where he grew up. He's mentioned many, many times. But this year, he's launching a different kind of initiative towards helping out the groups of folks that are there. It's called Bitcoin Academy for the residents of Marcy Homes. Uh, and the response is a little bit back and forth. Here's uh, some uh, details of this, uh, this initiative he's working on. This program aims to provide uh, education, empower the community with knowledge, and get rid of some of the barriers so that residents can learn more about Bitcoin specifically and finance in general. He collaborated with Twitter founder Jack Dorsey on this project as well. And it's a 12 week uh, Bitcoin Academy course which will be taught by Lamar Wilson. He runs the website Black Bitcoin Billionaire and Anaja J. Roberts, founder and CEO of Brick and Mortar Crypto School in California. And that's called Crypto Blockchain Plug. Bitcoins everywhere. Uh, there's at least one good perk of Bitcoin Academy, though. There's some free phones. Those participating in the program will, will receive uh, MiFi devices and a one-year limited data plan, plus smartphones if needed. Residents may keep the devices. Very nice. And nonetheless, many of these people that are living in these homes aren't really very happy about this or think that this is the best approach. Uh, it's kind of late to be doing that when people are trying to hold on to their dollars and everything is so expensive. People don't want to be investing money knowing that they might have a chance of losing it. So one resident did also say, uh, in addition, every time I, I, I get got to, uh, to, uh, to go to rent phone, TV, and internet, I don't have money like that to be losing. If I did, I would try to invest in something that's more reliable, like the basketball game last night. <laughs> Who doesn't love Myra? <laughs> you know I'm going to win something from that. Also, if you want to do something, fix this place up. We have a basketball court with no hoops. Our parks uh, is broken up in here. We should be doing more for this community, not no Bitcoin Academy. So it's not a surprise that they're not very happy about this uh, as bit, uh, with the Bitcoin push uh, when they're struggling to survive in this expensive city of New York. The average household income for public housing residents in New York is, 20, is over $24,000, according to the New York Housing Authority. Hmm. And there's one person that is excited about this. And they said, I would like to learn how they became a millionaire and learn what to trade and what not to trade. So there's a bit of folks that are looking forward to this. Uh, is this worthwhile? Is this something that's gonna help out? First, before we do anything else, well, we're just gonna let it go. We're not gonna let it go. Did you hear JR's Freudian slip, Bitcoin? Okay. <laughs> I said I it earlier. I don't know what you're talking uh, about. Well, look, I got 99 <laughs> problems, but Bitcoin ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> So, in this case, uh, I'm a little bit more open to this than other people are. You might be surprised by that. We even have a poll on it, and I'm super curious what you guys think. Uh, because, look, in a sense, he's uh, there. It is. Are you in favor of Jay Z's Bitcoin Academy? Yes or no? So, let me make the case for yes, for, uh, real quick. He's trying to do something to uplift folks. They need money, right? So, it's this, it's classes on uh, on handling your own finances, right? And so, I like that he's going back into the community and he's trying to teach them how to fish. Now, don't get me wrong, I get the no side completely. I mean, if you're gonna teach folks how to fish, one, I mean, I'll quote the legendary J.R. Jackson, we ain't got no boots, <laughs> we ain't got no bootstraps, and you're telling us to pull ourselves up by the Bitcoin straps, we don't have any, right? And second of all, I mean, of all the ways to learn financial literacy, Bitcoin? So, I think he's trying to do the right thing and everybody's crapping on him, but if it's, but it doesn't seem like the best way to do it, to say the least. Jackson, what do you think? Yeah, well, I think that um, you know, throughout Jay Z's career, he has done a lot of good things, and they pointed out some of the things that he's done in the community around holidays and things like that. I think inherently, you know, the the plan to help educate people on financial literacy in some type of way, there's nothing wrong with it. However, I think that this initiative will be better placed elsewhere, such as like public school uh, projects to help kids get started at a younger age, but not just with bit. Bitcoin, but you know, like uh, how to navigate the tax system, how to save money, how to budget, you know, things like that. Um, that would be more useful in a more broad perspective to where like kids and that whole district could get uh, some of that in a public school setting. So stuff like that, I think, would go further publicly. But I mean, like, you know, I'm sure that he, this was done in, in good faith and he'll continue to, you know, try other um, ventures just like it. Hope, other hope, yeah, hopefully the, uh, the the criticism will have them insert other things like, hey, maybe there's certain careers that people make a certain amount of money and gear people yeah. towards those types of studies, you know? Yeah, the one thing we'd all definitely agree on is if it turns into like some sort of scam where they're trying to get people to put money into their Bitcoin venture, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Just please, like Jackson's right, just teach financial literacy. 
but actual financial literacy about every part of finance, not just Bitcoin. And that actually would be really helpful and that would be a good way to put back into the community.